Heading Towards Chaos, Understanding Hell in a Handbasket. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase that you might have heard, hell in a handbasket. This expression is colorful, vivid, and packed with meaning. So, if you've ever wondered what it means and how you can use it in conversation, you're in the right place. Let's explore together the origins, meaning, and usage of this intriguing phrase. The phrase, hell in a handbasket, is used to describe a situation that is rapidly deteriorating or heading towards disaster in an uncontrollable manner. It conjures the image of something or someone being carried directly to hell in a handbasket, symbolizing an easy and unimpeded path to ruin or destruction. It's a vivid way to say that things are going very badly, without any sign of improvement on the horizon. Tracing the origins of hell in a handbasket is like going on a linguistic treasure hunt. While its exact origins are unclear, the phrase is believed to have appeared in some form in the 19th century. The use of a handbasket in this expression adds a touch of irony, as handbaskets are typically associated with carrying something delicately or with care, which contrasts sharply with the dire outcome the phrase suggests. Using hell in a handbasket in conversation or writing can add a dramatic flair to your language. It's perfect for situations where you want to emphasize the severity of a downfall or a catastrophic decline. However, it's important to use it in appropriate contexts, as it carries a strong, somewhat informal tone. Here are a couple of examples. Ever since the new management took over, the company has been going to hell in a handbasket. Looking at the environmental policies being ignored, it feels like we're heading to hell in a handbasket. We hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, hell in a handbasket, and that you feel more confident using it in your English conversations and writings. It's a powerful expression that captures the essence of a dire situation with a touch of historical intrigue. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and imagery those words evoke. Thank you for joining us today and we look forward to exploring more interesting phrases with you in the future. Stay curious, and keep learning!